Well, good morning, everybody. We got a lot of stuff to do today, <laughs> but at the same time, I, we don't. Today was the coldest day of the year, so naturally, my mom's friend's furnace went out in her house, so I helped her out by bringing her a heater. But not until I yelled at my mailman for driving in my grass. After weathering the day after tomorrow, I made my yearly Roth IRA contribution. I made my first V and MO account, and then I tried calling to get my commercial driver license. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Then I found out I could do everything online, and I got Cooper's video ready to be posted. Dad said he needed help moving things into the dryer shack. Then I spoke to a high school financial literacy class. While I was doing that, Dad loaded not one, not two, but five semis. And then he found himself facing a day of shopping. We just made it to Menards. We got the trailer. We are here to do some serious shopping. We're trying to shop, and then there's guys like this that just block the roadway. No, not no we're at Menards. We're at Menards. We don't even know where you are. We're going to save big money. <laughs> That's right. We don't save big money at Lowe's. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but whenever we shop, she stops really quick. I run into her, and she's like, do you mind? No, I don't mind. Just get out of my way. They give you 963 choices, so this might get a little confusing for us. Get confusing for Mama Cornstar. For me, it won't be a problem, because I'll just let her pick it out, and then I'll say it's really nice. We might have to go shopping for food here in a little bit and then come back and look around some more. And the nice thing is, I don't know about you guys, when you go out with your wives, it's always such a special treat when they buy lunch. Okay, now that we got our stuff done, let's actually get to work. Got our Batco belt auger here. We've never used this before, brand new. I guess it's set up where we can run it off an electric motor we can also run it off the hydraulics on the tractor. So Cooper's wanting to run it off the hydraulics on the tractor right now because there's a bunch of snow and ice and all sorts of good stuff down here. So we want to turn this on nice and slow. That way we ain't get all this stuff out here. Wade, the electrician, is supposed to come later today. It's supposed to get that motor wired up. And we're going to be moving this auger. And then we're going to start loading some soybeans with it. Mama Cornstar likes to, when she gets in her store, she likes to scope out where the restrooms are. I just walk around and if you find like a bucket works perfectly fine. Turn them things on. Get some heat in here. So many stores. I can't believe how big they are. Hey, you guys are like my fans. Can you do that? I can't do that. Only. It works. Grab those fingers. Hold on first. Nanu, nanu. I'm getting real tired of looking at these lath mountains sitting in my upstairs and all this plaster on the floor. I think now is as good a time as ever to get the rest of this lath down, get all this stuff out, get the floors picked up so that way we can get started doing some construction work up here. I want to start getting some electricity in the walls, reshaping these rooms. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, so we're going to get her done. <laughs> This is where you get a little nervous. Corn's just about up there. Ronnie's on the way to his truck. Corn's just about up there. Ronnie's ready to get in his truck. The corn's just about ready to come over. Ronnie's getting in his truck. You can just feel it. Open up the door here. This is, tell us how full Ronnie's load's getting. He's got air gauges on his trailer so we don't overload him. Never in a million years would we overload him. Possibly it's happened a time or two. Okay, Ronnie, why don't we back up about six feet and I'll get ready to shut things down here in a little bit. How do I do this for sitting down Perfect. on the edge? I'm good. I'm good. If you have to grab the faucet, you can. Okay. And just set it down and slide it in. We just got Isaiah that pulled back. Looks like the Millwright guys are up on top of the catwalk. It's December 12th. December 12th. They're up there working uh, cold weather. I don't know what they're doing up there today. I think they got some safety cage or something yet to build. So hopefully. The last load that Isaiah hauled in, 
He was 88,320 pounds and he was right at 1,100 bushels of corn and the corn was 61 pound test weight. 15% moisture right on the nose, so perfect, perfect corn. Now all this corn, thank God it came out of the field dry. We would have been in a lot of trouble because we didn't have nothing set up for a corn dryer. No way to move the wet corn over to the system. We would have been in a lot, a lot of trouble if uh, the corn wasn't coming out of the field dry. I do need to bring the skid loader over and get some of this corn cleaned up. Hey, good morning, Uncle Orland. How, How are you doing? doing? Oh, filling truckers this morning. I filled number three, and I got two more coming here in just a little bit to load up with beans. And so oh, wow. they're keeping us moving along. I got a little time here before the truckers pull in for a load of beans and I thought you know what just to make sure everything's working why not go ahead and pull the tractor over there with our little cart put some beans in it just to make sure everything's working and that way if the trucker's pushing a little time I can load him quick with the cart he can pull underneath the auger we can finish filling them. Gotta remember where I plugged the tractor in. Oh boy! Oh yeah! I'm gonna try something totally new today a belt driven auger. This is a belt driven auger from AGI. This is the first load we're running through it, so we're going to try it out. It's supposed to be really gentle on the beam. I think a guy would learn to check the trap doors before you go to use it. About six weeks ago, we took our bean head off to have a professional mechanic go through some stuff. He came out during harvest to help us adjust some things, and he noticed there was a couple things pretty messed up about the bean head. So we just took it to him. Well, he just called and said the bean head was done. So I'm going to go pick that up. Before I can do that, I need to find a hitch pin because for some reason, when my entire family was four years old, they were never taught, put the hitch pin back when you're done with it. And I can't find one. Oh, that don't sound very good. Where's that coming from? Right there. Change of plans. We got Isaiah back. Well, we're loading Isaiah with the first beans to go to the processor of 2021 crop. I've honestly never really been a big fan of beans. Right now we got to allocate the beans in and trying to correspond with the truckers and the processor, it really makes an issue. And then the truckers get holed up at another processor in the morning, it can really throw things off. It's not my fault, not their fault, not the processor's fault either, but it does make a challenge. Like I told the truckers, we'll try our hardest and uh, if something comes up on their end, do not feel bad because we can't control weather, we can't control breakdowns, and we can't control lines in the other elevators. And I'm getting hot in here because I think I got my heater on. Ooh. What are you doing? Come on, get up. I'm sleeping on the job. Hey, good afternoon. Would there be any chance that the shop's free where I could sneak my truck in to fix my tire quick? Tire machine's broken at the tire shop. Hey, Todd, uh, I got a Real bad leak on my back tire of my truck. Would you guys, by chance, be able to fix that? Sure. Is everybody hiding that? Looks like it's going pretty fast. It does. We'll get Isaiah on the road. That's our problem. Ronnie should be pulling in pretty soon. 
That should work pretty good, Tenant Ronnie, or you want a little more? Yeah, I think so. We're gonna go ahead and load up with another load of beans. That way when Ronnie comes in the morning, we will be ready for him. We're not holding him up. Well, it bends full. Hey, how are we doing? Good. He's running a lathe. I'm going to let him know you're here. Okay, perfect. The thing that stinks about pulling such a long implement, I have to wait till every car is gone in that direction and I also have to wait till every car is gone in that direction. Because it takes me like stinking 10 minutes to get through the intersection. Can we like Texas Roadhouse really well? Well you can't go wrong with Texas Roadhouse. They got some good rolls. Yeah but we have to eat like so we don't get the heartburn and stuff. We have to eat like at five o'clock. Grandma that's when old people eat. You're not old. <laughs> You'd be surprised how we feel sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> now we got the wild man pulling in. We got Denny. Well, I guess we're gonna load Denny with some corn. This is what he said. I'm not scared of a little mud. Bring it on. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go fill him up with corn. It's actually a beautiful day. If we get a couple days of sun, I think where the snow is melted and off in the ice, it'll actually start drying up. But today, it's just kind of that slimy stuff. But you can see where it's drying. It's actually drying nice. But then where there was snow, oh, Denny might be stuck back there. I remember. I'm not scared of no mud. We got a policy around here. You got a truck stuck, sits for more than six hours. It belongs to us. We'll see what it looks like. I don't want to get him stuck. Then I got the grain cart full of beans, so I can't, well, we'll see what he says back here. If it's too muddy, we won't get him stuck. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Woo, duck. We can do it. Come on, use the corn for traction. There we go. Good corn. Good job. Good job. You'll have to be a hole about the size of that. I got it marked where the center is right there. And then we need to notch a hole, you know, about the same. Oh, wow. It's that far off. Yeah. That'd be there. And then we got to make it come down to here. Do you guys believe me if I said it took Dad and I an hour to dig this hole? Well, I'd be lying because it took three. the shower so that hole will be the drain where all the water runs out and that hole is gonna go through there so we have a pipe that needs to go through here to get to this drain now originally we weren't sure what kind of shower we were gonna be going with dad just wasn't planning at all come on dad this is all your fault and so we just kind of had a rough idea that it was gonna be in this area somewhere so that's why we built this recessed area so in case we had to turn our drain pipe we could but come to find out they had one that was really close to the wall. So, simple quick fix. All this is gonna be covered. We're not gonna be seeing any of that. Ah, there we go. Dad's gonna go plug in the 7140, so I'll be ready to load corn in the morning. I'm gonna go put the small case skid loader away. So we got for a day. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.